Well, here it is. The Crow's Nest Railroad is officially world famous. <laughs> Well, let's see what we got here. Ah, that's a beauty. In case you're new to my channel, here's a quick mini history of the Crow's Nest Railroad. I drew up a plan in the summer of 2020 for a ride on train around my home at our small urban property. One inch to the foot scale would be needed for the necessary tight curves and lighter weight equipment I could easily handle. That winter, I purchased a used 5-inch gauge coal-fired steam engine in need of some restoration. In the summer of 2021, the first shovelfuls of soil started the process of carving out a potential roadbed. I began video recording the weekly progress. You can search back through the episodes under the Backyard Railroad playlist on this channel. While some general landscaping was going on, I decided to build the first piece of rolling stock. That August, 11 tons of ballast rock were dumped on my driveway. Let the shoveling begin. Now it was time to build track panels and prepare the ground for smooth, flat track work. A couple more cars would also get built. I added a small bridge, along with a combination tunnel and car barn. Oh, and I almost forgot, Little Rodney, my daily driver electric locomotive project, was finished as well. The last bit of track to complete a circle had to go across my driveway and be portable. In the spring of 2022, eight months after the yard work began, the final golden spike was put in. So look at the stash. This is some great reading material. So a miniature railway magazine, this happens to be spring of 2006. I got a old back issue, issue number 43, issue number 55. We'll get to that in just a second. Beautiful album um, about smaller gauge railroads in the UK. Remember the difference between scale and gauge. Gauge is the actual spacing between the rails on the track but the scale can vary quite a bit depending on whether you are modeling a, a standard prototype or a narrow gauge or whatever so the scale can have a bit of a range to it um, but the, the gauge is what it is it's an actual measurement look at this beautiful book here by David goes into great details about some fantastic miniature railways and he discusses different gauges from small to what they call grand scale which would be like a commercial type run passenger pulling service great book here in Suffolk Gardens I can't remember if I bought one of David's books first and then subscribe to the magazine or if I subscribe to the magazine first I can't quite remember but anyway in the most recent issue look at this Ta -da! there we are the crow's nest railroad yay so there's yours truly sitting on little Rodney here a shot of the train in the backyard on the track and then a picture here depicting a typical truck that we use here in the US where the truck pivots on this center here and you get a little bit of rocking and I contrasted that with the trucks that I got from Maxitrack that really ride on small nylon bushings and it's a completely different feel when you ride on it in fact it's really really stable this is the seven and a half inch outline porter locomotive that I built and a larger scale obviously than five inch on my railroad but this is the most common way I ride this little five inch gauge railroad and that is side saddle 
and it's remarkably stable. You wouldn't think that you could do that on 5 inch gauge, but I do it all the time. So anyway, <laughs> tongue in cheek, the Crow's Nest Railroad is now officially world famous. And here you can see the Miniature Railway Magazine has a Facebook page. And a lot of folks don't do Facebook. They also have their own dedicated website. And I'll put a link for both Facebook page and this website down in the description so that you can log on and check things out. Here you can buy magazines and books and all sorts of interesting materials, see some videos, basically dig around and find out all sorts of fascinating information about miniature railways in the UK and beyond. I'll also put a link to David's YouTube site and there's some fascinating videos here as well. For example, here's a fun little video where David and his son did a 12-hour endurance run with a pedal-powered locomotive. And here's one where David actually rides inside of a carriage on his way to work. Well, I hope you can check out all of the Backyard Railroad videos on the playlist on my page. And I'm going to let this video say so long for me. Well, I'm going to keep busy and I won't keep you any longer, but thank you so much for watching. This is Stan saying I hope you can join me right here next time on the Crow's Nest Railroad.